this video we are going to try to open two very large files with Visual Studio Code and with NeoVim and we will see which one wins. Now I have two very large files here, one of two gigabytes and one of 20 gigabytes. I have the activity monitor opened here and we will look at how the memory jumps up whenever we try to use any app. So I'm going to start with Visual Studio Code. First, the two gigabytes file is this one. So it says it's very large, two gigabytes, open anyway, open anyway. And let's look at the memory. Oh, let's choose a text editor as a yeah. And let's look at the memory. 10 gigabytes, did it jump up a little bit? So I have 16 gigs total memory. And you can see it up here, it's trying to load it, 11. I'm not seeing the memory pressure much. Let's, let's try to refresh or something. It's, oh, the window terminated unexpectedly. Reason, it crashed reopen and let's open it again with the default active and default editor so this is the second time it's trying to load i don't see anything happening to the memory which is good basically it's trying to load a two gigabyte file inside of a memory of 16 gigs with about 800 Oh, it crashed again. Okay, so I'm going to try to open it now. Let me see. With NeoVim. My file 2G dot that. Now, when I try NeoVim, let's see what happens to the memory. 7 gigs because I closed VS Code. Let me close it completely. 8... So it's going a little bit up, 10, okay, it's going up, 11, 12, why is it so, ooh, ooh, okay, now it went up, but it opened it, it actually opened the 2 gig file, so I can go at the end of the file, beginning of the file, let's see how many lines does the end have, 8 something something, 8, million okay so if i want to go at uh, line one million i go there and this is the line and i can delete it delete this one this one this one yeah everything works i go at the very top now oh it doesn't want to go at the very top oh yeah this is the very top this is the very bottom and this is line 1 million. Deleting, 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 going at the end. No, going at the beginning. It doesn't want to jump at the beginning with GG very easily. It will jump eventually, but I guess if I modify the file a little bit, then it has to do something smart with the memory, and the memory is a lot. Let's check. Ooh. You see this yellow part? This is swap. Memory pressure is an indicator of the system's ability to meet the memory requirements. Blah, blah, blah. Higher memory pressure indicates that the system is reaching its limits and performance may degrade. Basically, this is the SSD being used. And it says here swap used 7 gigabytes of memory. Okay. But uh, now... Even though I, I pressed GG so it can go up, it's not at the very top because I deleted a few lines. So I guess that messes things up. Now I'm at the very top, at the very bottom. If I delete the last line from the very bottom and then go GG at the very top, it just goes to the very top. If I delete the second to last and then GG, it goes up. But if I go like to line 1 million. Ooh, it didn't go to 1 million. 
you see the line number is 99986. So 99K, 986, even though I specifically tell it to go to, what? oh, is this the last line? No. Oh, yes, it is. Okay. Okay, so that's the last line. My bad. Okay, let's go to line 50,000. And delete, delete, delete. And now go at the very top. Now it went at the very top. Let's try to undo, 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 undo everything. Okay. Now it's undo. It undoed everything. But if I go at the very bottom, now it's no longer 99,000. It's much higher. Okay, so things are happening. We are dealing with a two gigabyte file. But let's try to exit this file and i'm not going to try visual studio code again for opening the 20 gig file because it crashed for the 2 gig file it it lost that battle so i guess now now memory is dead nope i'm good let's get to the 20 gigabyte file and try to open it so now let's look at the memory, 13.7, 13.6, 13 13.7. 13 Ooh, oh my God, it went into swap directly. Five gigs, 5.9. So it's trying to, it, it, it just went for swap. So basically if I, I have so much swap and 16 gigs of RAM and the file is 20 gigs. I think it should be able to open it. However, opening it with swap is very slow, but it should be able to open it. I have so much swap on this machine that it works apparently. 13 gigs, is it going to open it with swap? only what is going on oh i think it's holding the previous file somehow in some sort of memory so that i can switch back to it the buffer you know oh 18 gigs of swap oh my how many how much swap do i have on this thing 19 gigs of swap is it going to open the other file the 20 gig file in swap this is this is a lot, 21 gigs. I think we're approaching the file size here. Even though we did have some swap in the previous file loaded too. So 24 gigs, the, the swap. So this is loading in memory, the entire contents of the file, 26 gigs. I'm, I'm baffled that it didn't crash. So far, 28 gigs, how high does this thing go? So 13 gigs, 14 almost. Already loaded. And 30 gigabytes of swap used. I'm sorry, 32 in just a few seconds. Come on, open it. I'm, I'm, wow. 33. This thing is amazing. So it's hovering at about 14 gig, leaving like two gig just so that things work and I can use my computer. And it's relying on swap a lot. Ooh, 15 gig, 15.2. Is it going to show me anything? If it's gonna show me the 20 gig file, it's going to be amazing. 15.233, I think it's slowing down. 32, okay, it's losing memory from the swap. And 15.225, 23, it's losing memory. And it's going up and down, as you can see here. But swap is going up again. I think it's trying to load its 
actually trying to load. I, I tried to do this. I tried to do this uh, earlier. And for a 20 gig file. It didn't. I think I, I just got bored and stopped it. But 35 and 15 kind of looks like, wow, this is a lot. 35, 4, 5, 9, 6. Okay, it's going up. Swap is still going up. Is this thing actually loading the... I would be... I mean, you shouldn't do this. You really shouldn't do this. But, wow. NeoVim is something. VS Code couldn't even load a 2 gig file. It dropped a lot in swap over here. And it's fluctuating a lot. But it's at 36 and growing. This is still at, so you can see up here the green is actually very, very, very high. The green is RAM. 36.6, this is amazing. Let me see if I can open a brand new. Yep, my computer is functional. I don't even wanna to try to open Chrome right now. My memory is so, it's good to have sometimes reasonable memory and sometimes Macs are incredible. You're basically, it's not letting you load the entire memory and it's uh, going to swap and swap is pretty fast. We are at 38. What's it trying to do here? The first file is 20 gigs and the second file is two gigs. I was supposed to have two gigs, 22 gigs of RAM loaded, yet I have 38 plus 15, which is 53 more actually, 54 of gigs of RAM. What's it trying to do? Wow. Now this, this is putting immense pressure on the system right now. 39, come on. I think we're approaching 55 gigs of used. I don't know what those red things are, but I think it's not good. Let's let's try to figure out what red is. Oh, it's just saying the same thing. I think I think my memory just crashed. Wow, what was that? Zero memory used, app memory zero. My Mac is not even warm. Okay, we didn't open the file, but still impressive stuff. I guess that's the video for today. Just to be clear, VS Code, lost miserably and uh, NeoVim did a pretty good job, the best NeoVim one.